Okay, this Toyota GT86 Boxer has not been started up for almost two weeks and I'm hoping that the parasitic load and uh, plus the cold wintry weather wouldn't have taken a toll on the uh, car's battery to the point that I wouldn't be able to start it up. So let's see how it performs. So fingers crossed and here you go, clutch down. I'm going to hit the start button and let's see what happens. Okay, brilliant, it started up, although the starter motor cranked at a much um, lower RPM than it normally does. But the important thing is we are up and running. So I'm going to take it for a short drive just to get the uh, uh, alternator to charge the battery up a little bit. Um, but of course, before I do that, I'm going to uh, sit here and let the engine idle and warm up. Um, just want to say that it's, it's very important to do that on engines that use timing chains because you really want the lubrication to circulate around the block and especially uh, properly coat the timing chain and the, all the valve uh, uh, mechanisms, uh, valve drive mechanisms and all that before um, driving it at high RPM. Alright, so that's good then. Here you go. Thanks for watching. Okay, now the uh, engine has been running for a couple of minutes. We, sh we should be good to go, but I believe the rear disc have now seized up against the, the brake um, pads. And just to uh, see if that happens, I'm going to pop the car into neutral and try to reverse and see if it moves. Better give the engine a bit of throttle because I don't want to um, uh, under rev the engine due to the uh, disc, uh, disc uh, sticking in the caliper. So here we go. Rev the engine up a bit. Release the clutch. Oops. Okay, we are moving, so it wasn't that bad. So I've just reversed out of the lot, but I noticed that with every rotation of the wheel, there is some um, grinding noise. So I just demonstrate it. So there's a grinding noise, every rotation it makes. I'm going to do it forward. Again, I can feel it through the clutch pedal. It just makes a grinding noise. Crop, crop, crop. I'm not sure whether it's um, due to corrosion so I'm about to get down to check Okay, here's what's happened. The, um, <coughs> the corrosion on the discs were high enough that they scratched um, it, it, that they were scraped off by the brake pads even though the brake wasn't depressed. So obviously that caused the grinding noise while I was reversing and driving away. So now that's um, we know that's the reason. It should be okay to just continue driving uh, without risking any further damages to the vehicle.